Molly, to draw your wardrobe pieces or wardrobe front covers, you need to be um, much more regular and aligned, although you could still go for a flowing shape. So you need to set up your file for the illustrated document by going File, New, making sure it's A3 and set it to Landscape. In the Advanced tab, make sure the colour mode is set to RGB. Click OK. Go to File, Document Colour Mode, ensure that is on RGB. Go to your Colour tab over here and ensure that's showing RGB. If not, you can click on the tab here and find RGB here. So this is an A3 page. You can draw as big as you want and then we can resize it afterwards. So to get some of your basic shapes happening, you have some experience in using the rectangle tool to create a shape. You can add in other shapes on top of that. If you hold the shift key down, use the selection tool. You can use the pathfinder to unite those shapes and you have a different shape there. You can use your, um, your circle tool. Hold the shift key down to constrain it to a circle. I've got a circle here. I'm going to copy the circle deselect and paste the circle on the other side, hold the shift key down, select all my shapes, go to the pathfinder tool again and unite those. If you wanted to cut those away, minus front and that would eat those bits away. Um, again, all of these pieces here need to be in RGB red and that's changed to RGB red and you also need to change the size to zero point zero zero one so that would be that would be a file that's ready to export to the laser printer now. If you wanted to have any etching, which is difficult on cardboard unless it's quite thick, uh, thick cardboard, you can etch plastic and you can etch um, plywood. You need to draw whatever lines you wish to have etched. So I have those two lines there. Hold the shift key down. And select those. These lines need to be in the RGB black. So we're still looking at CKMY. I'm going to click here and change my black to 0, 0, and 0. Okay, that. And these etch lines can be as thick as you want. So they don't have to be 0 0.001. You can have the etch lines at one point or two points. You can go thicker if you like. You might choose to go up to seven points, depending on what material you're going. But for very thin cardboard, they're inappropriate. So this file is also ready to export to Illustrator, uh, sorry, to the laser cutter. The red line will be the cut line. The black line will be etched.